May 1st marks the one-year anniversary of the death of Osama bin Laden. CNAS has asked several of its experts to look back and reflect on what has changed in U.S. policy over the last year and the implications for the future. Dr. Andrew Exum, Senior Fellow, joins us now. You've said in the past that decapitation campaigns don't usually yield good results, but has Osama bin Laden's death damaged al-Qaeda in the last year? I think it's tough to tell what effect this, uh, the death of Osama bin Laden has had on al-Qaeda, mainly because I, I'm not sure to what degree the intelligence that was seized from the target managed to lead U.S. forces and U.S. intelligence agencies and their allies onto other targets. I think there is a non-trivial possibility that al-Qaeda can collapse as an organization uh, sometime in the, uh, the near future, but I think that's still still remote possibility. I think for the most part Al-Qaeda and its affiliates have proven to be pretty resilient over the uh, over the past decade. You've also said that Al-Qaeda has not fit into the revolutions throughout the Arab world. Has this changed at all since bin Laden's death? I think that the Arab Spring and specifically Islamist political parties coming to power across the Arabic speaking world through elections not through violence has got to undermine a large portion of Al-Qaeda's narrative. I think Al-Qaeda was on the wane really in part due to a lot of their own uh, mistakes over the past 10 years, including bombing wedding parties in Jordan, killing a lot of Iraqis and Saudis, but not many Americans comparatively. Um, I think Al-Qaeda will try to take advantage of some of the upheavals in the Arab Spring, certainly in Syria, maybe possibly, uh, possibly among, uh, in, uh, in Yemen as well. I think they've had some success. Um, but I, I think overall the Arab Spring has not been a, a kind phenomenon for Al-Qaeda. Given how events have played out over the past year, how important do you think the death of Osama bin Laden is to the future of Afghanistan and to the region as a whole? I don't think that the death of Osama bin Laden will have an effect on what does or does not happen in Afghanistan or Pakistan. I think that for the most part um, what the United States does, what the government of Pakistan does, what elements within the government of Pakistan do, um, what the government of Afghanistan does. I mean, I think local actors on the ground matter most for Afghanistan and Pakistan. And uh, for the most part, Al-Qaeda uh, especially, but, uh, but also Osama bin Laden as a figurehead of Al-Qaeda, I don't think really mattered too much for the trends that we're seeing uh, in Afghanistan and Pakistan.